Which you could do, you just have to get one with uh, enough inputs. Hmm. Where's my mug? Weekend Warrior mug. Why don't we got a Weekend Warrior got, mug? I got a Hard Out Productions mug. Hard Out Productions? Hard Out. Hard Out. Our, our, our friends over there at Hard Out, they basically do all the... Uh, Tables and chair rentals for all your production needs. And bathrooms. Uh, and bathrooms. And bathrooms. And, and pipe and drape. Pipe and drape. Mirrors. They, they director chairs. Director yeah. chairs. They have really good director chairs now. The full, the, the one, they're like lead. Yeah. The, the, the Carbon the fiber. Things. Um, oh, I want to talk about this guy. So it's on Instagram. You ever heard about the raw chicken experience? Uh, was there a guy who ate like 40 chicken breasts a day? There's this guy that he's eating raw chicken until the day he gets a tummy ache. And that's just every day? And he just eats raw. Like, okay, right now on Instagram, it's disgusting. Day 23. Of this day twenty three, day twenty three. Ew! No way! The whole yeah, thing. I didn't see this one, but chicken every day till I get a tummy ache. Right now, I'm about fifty percent man and fifty percent bacteria. <laughs> Don't try this at home. Yeah, no, I will not. Jeez. No fucking. Let's reach, way. reach in here for some of the liver. Oh my god! No, that fucking raw. Uh, what? Skateboard. Is that tech tech dude? Imagine that amount of salmonella. No. Oh, oh no, yeah, he that. eats it. Ugh. So he gets a tummy ache? Pretty good. No, it's not. It tastes like if you made jello out of coins. Absolutely not, dude. Yeah, is he eating the whole damn thing? I don't know if he eats the whole damn thing, but. I Me mean, eat the fucking liver. Day 23, it's, eating raw chicken every day till like... That's just crazy. Dude, why is this ca- caption so long? Uh, I don't know. It's, it's just a pretty long caption. The mutual relationship in nature are crazy and never ending. Even a tree making its fruit tasty as hell. So you should... What the fuck is this guy? Thanks for the chicken man tech deck. I Thanks for you. the entire... I love you. Coin jello, though. Uh... Wait for the day takes a step further. Wait for the day takes a step further. Eats a living chicken. <laughs> what? Here's something. It's so. Weird. This man, you made me gag. <laughs> God like, damn. But. But he hasn't had a tummy ache. I'm I'm shocked he hasn't. And like the first day, he hasn't was... reported anything about going to the doctor. I mean, he's at the doctor now. Oh, this one is like. Day nineteen. You guys are right. I'm not doing so good because I haven't had my chicken yet. I have your medicine. <laughs> oh You're going to be okay. Thank you. <laughs> He's so weird. That's right. No Strawberry diet. Mm. Mm. No, it's not. I cannot be that good. But wait. <laughs> what is that? No fucking I, I could do that over the raw chicken. That's disgusting, dude. Yeah. That's so weird. He's doing it. Man, I thought it was over. But then, like, here's the thing, though, right? He's not getting sick. He's not getting a tummy ache. Does this debunk the fact of salmonella and all this other stuff? I mean, I think that, well, the problem is, like, if he's getting a stomach ache. So like, he might have all their, like, underlying, like, issues. Because if you have salmonella, like, you know, maybe you don't have a stomach ache necessarily. You might have some other, like, things going on. I mean, also, do we know if it's actually just jello? It could just be jello. What do you mean? It's not actually raw chicken. No, that was <laughs> raw chicken. And then in the other video, the liver looks kind of... You know, I had the tech tech dude in there already. It's just really weird. I don't know. I honestly, I, I never would ever. I, I my first thought, like first day, probably get a stomach ache, but I don't think it has anything to do, anything to do with salmonella. I think, like, have, like I don't think it's related that you have a stomach ache. 
any correlation to have salmonella. But after seeing this guy do, do this, right? Would you? No. Could you? No. 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 I, 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 I do, do like, like my. I do like steak. Yeah. Pretty rare. Yeah, me too. Um, but but, but it's got to it's got to have some fire in there. Anything I really eat like steak, I eat medium rare. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I mean, it, it, if it's still bloody, if it's still moving, well, it's no. not really blood in steak, right? right. But if it's just red no, juice, uh, I don't know. Something. But that's the only one I can get behind. The other, everything else now, um, I could do, I could do fish raw, like sushi. Yeah, but there's only certain fishes you can eat right. Raw. Crab, crab raw? No, well, no, like I a steam, raw, steam, steam, steam. Yeah. Um, I want to eat that raw shrimp. No, that's how you kind of steam. Vagina. Vagina. That's raw. Eat that raw. Mm-hmm. I like it a little cooked, a little extra crispy. I'm trying to think, what else? What else could do? Egg. It's not really meat though. I used to drink egg live. What about pig? What about pork? No. Do you eat, like raw bacon? No. Ugh. I suggest not. Pork. I yeah. think pork is like one of the animals that you have to cook very well. Right. Like you can't. You can't, you can't fuck around with ribs. You can't be like, oh, I want it a certain temperature. It's like, no, you can't. <laughs> it's like, I've, I've seen videos of pork where they put, like, salt vinegar onto the meat, and, like, you see worms. Oh, really? Out of it. Yeah. For, wait, like, on a rib? Um, no, on, like, just pork. Just, like, Don't... meat. Like, the... What about, uh... And all this stuff. What about, like, cow tongue? People eat that raw, right? I don't think people eat that. I had I had a uh, cow tongue in Mexico, it was like little did chunks. You like, did you like it's it? Really tasty. I, I was, had it. I I liked it a lot. I just had a little piece. Just the thought of eating it. Like, I know. Well, you had to mix it up with like rice and stuff and like salsa. It actually was pretty solid. But but then like I, if you overthink it, I was drunk enough, so I was like I don't really care. But I was warned that I was going to be doing eating tongue that night for dinner. So the drunker I was getting, the less I was overthinking it. Mm-hmm. It was tasty. It was really good. Tongue. Totally recommend it. Tongue. Yeah, it was almost like uh, it almost tasted like um, like chuck roast, where it's kind of very tender. It's like falling off a little bit. Mm-hmm. It was, that was really good. I'm trying to figure out what I got here. I found a new comedian that I just love now. Is it? Is it Irene Casey Chilis? Rocket? Casey Rocket. Did we look up this guy? Is he the, the one who's like all over the place? On Kill Tony. Yeah. Is it that guy? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you, have you seen his? Yeah. Work? Put him up. Like, he's fucking hilarious. This is indeed yeah. the one and only Austin's own Casey Rocket. Dude, the Austin music comedy scene's huge. Wait, did they, is it a different segment? Yeah. We're going to different clothes the last thing. I really can't stay. Hell yeah. Get lost. Real trap. Shit. Come on now. Get out of here. I gotta get out of here at midnight. I turn back into Kirsten Dunst, so just gotta keep moving. Peter, please! Shit, <laughs> real. Big Uncle Ben Crown. Get out of here. <laughs> Come on now. I'm just popping it. I got nothing to lose. <laughs> Hell yeah. No, I gotta get out of here. My buddy found some original Oxycontin in his attic last night, so... We're gonna get faded and watch Yao Ming highlights later. Should be badass. (laughs) You move good for a big man, don't he? These guys, are, <laughs> these guys got some fucking drugs. Well, a lot of people talk about being California sober. Me, I'm Biloxi, Mississippi sober. Uh, that's where I do a bunch of whippets and lose my son on a riverboat gambling trip. Uh, how much will you credit me for the boy? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, go with the nice man. <laughs> Get real. Get real. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. I promised my buddy I would do jihad later, so I gotta get going. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> We're having fun. Youngest guy around. I have nothing to lose. I'm just being brave. Oh, sorry about that. Red peppers. All right. We're doing good. This <laughs> is rubbing his shoulder like that. Hell yeah. Uh, never meet your heroes, folks. We all know the Lorax speaks for the trees. <laughs> <laughs> but in 2007, 
I saw him say the N word. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just racist. I just gotta keep moving. Biden's trying to drone strike me right now. I can feel it. Good luck. <laughs> Imagine being in the room with him for an hour oh and how they just drive you insane. Yeah, I hate Ambien. I'm glad you brought that up. <laughs> Last time I took Ambien, I accidentally donated my car to 1877 Cars for Kids. Uh, fucked up part is I live in my car. Uh, now I gotta live with all these little kids. <laughs> Mm. He's hilarious, dude. Dude, I never got the concept. I drove by uh, Cars for Kids for the first time in like Wait, way down like ninety five. Place? It's called Cars for Kids, and I I had to look it up because it drove me crazy. No, you meant. never heard the Cars for Kids. No, no, is that like a little toy car, like electric no, car, or is it like you you donate your cars? On... It's kind of warm. It's like the first sixty degree day we've had all year. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna, toasty. we're gonna make Devin work now. <laughs> the air is gonna. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Is it? How does that sound? Yeah. yeah it's in that little bit. Do you get the refrigerator? Is that what it is? I feel like it's almost like a heartbeat. Oh, that's no, that's a dead body in the basement. <laughs> oh, well, that's my heart. That's been dead man's chest. Yeah. Oh. That yeah. Sense. The David Jones locker. Mm. Yeah. So cars for kids is a thing that you would like donate your car and the money the proceeds. They give it to like a twelve year old? They give it to kids. But why does a kid need a car? They no, can't drive. The money after they sell the car, it gets Oh for, for kids. Oh, I was literally just thinking they, they just give a, a, a car, like a no, Prius to like I a, remember growing a seven year old and hearing that That's so like, you, that was just a, like here we go, cars for kids. Oh, this fucking commercial. One eight seven seven cars for kids. K A R S cars for kids. Good dork. Fucking, you should have been playing the drums right. Fucking loser. Was that you? Yeah, I blocked that on my memory. Oh god, all right, we get it, dude. She needs to learn how to play the fucking drums. If they ever wanted to. If they ever want a career in music, it's like, oh, t- fucking losers over there. Pedophiles just like have oh. a loop. The commercials, <laughs> commercials back in the '90s. I mean, I know that was like probably like early 2000s, but commercials back in the '90s were like fucking wild. They got away with everything. Everything was extreme. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like, like rollerblading yeah. with like fire wheels That's and like so. skateboarding everywhere. And then like, what is it? The Capri Sun commercials had to go so fucking hard. Where like you turn into like the silver surfer. Oh no, get ready for this one. Whose bag is this? Stupid ads. Oh, this, uh, this is the one where you have to look at the whole ad before. Lame. Oh, I do love uh, drumsticks. Yeah. The next composition is Opus Dei. Dei, Dei, Potter. Son of Like, Of course, Family Guy made a bit about this already. Correction, the next composition is 1877 <laughs> Cars for Kids. 1877 Cars for Kids. That's amazing. Cars for Kids. Your cars How much money do they make? Uh, cars for kids. Well, there, there's one little thumbnail that said, like, where do the cars actually go? I'm confused by this whole system. So I understand it's a charity. Right? You give your car away. Yeah. The money that, I don't know where the money comes from. Is it from like a, a, to, how do they make money? They sell it. I don't know. They sell it to, they sell the car and then they give that money to kids. Um, I mean, I guess you got to donate to the, Program. Well, you get a tax write-off, which I know. Definitely. If you sell your car for... Oh, save money on your taxes. If you sell your car for more than $500, your receipt will be for the sale price. Otherwise, you're claim, you claim the fair market value of the car up to $500. Um, okay. So... Nonprofit Car for Kids and our sister charity, 
aura. So basically, if you uh, you also it doesn't matter what kind of car. Like, can it be as like a certain age limit? Age limit? What do you mean? I don't know. Like, if it's like old, if it's too old to give the car away. Like, if it's like a nineteen ninety eight Toyota Four Runner. Oh, you gotta love Reddit. I fucking love Reddit. I get when I when I it's actually bad when I get drunk enough. I like to go on Reddit and just like, oh my god, get in fights with people. It's the best. K for K, cars for kids, and they're have been fined repeatedly for failing to disclose the religious nature of their org. Also, they invested their money in a Ponzi scheme. Of course. Also, the CEO's second cousin lost nine point two million of it in a bad real estate deal. Wait, so it's religious? It's a Christian thing? I, I, I mean, this is going to be Reddit. Yeah. Well, Reddit's the only real source. Failing to religion. disclose the religious... Yeah, it's like, who's writing it? Who's... $9.2 million real estate deal? The building of a skyscraper? It's a lot of fucking money. And do they even make that much money, too, to be, like, throwing it around like that? I don't know. I mean, like, if you have a shitty car, the, I guess they're saying, like, no matter what kind of car you have, yeah. the value of it on your taxes would be 500 Okay. But then they sell it for whatever. Right, right, right. So you write off your taxes. You say 500 They take it. They sell it. And then, Two, three, four, five. And they give, like, 20% of that money to, to the kids. I mean, that's if they do now. What kids are getting these, though? Who are what? these kids? Uh, well, they're giving the money. Like, they're probably giving, like, a certain percentage of the money to the kids. <clears throat> who are, like, in this car for kids program. They just need to do a Chuck E. Cheese program. That's all I got to say. To do what? I don't know. Do Chuck E. Cheese. You go in there, you get lost in the ball pit, and then... They don't have ball you pits win. anymore. Oh. Do they have beer still there? Chuck E. Cheese? Can you still get drink beer? Oh, Chuck E. Cheese? Can. I Dude. haven't been it. No. Have you ever no. been to one where they served alcohol? No. Back in the day, you could get alcohol at Chuck E. Cheese for all the parents who would go there for all their birthday celebrations or whatever, uh-huh. so they can get drunk and then drive drunk home with their kids. You never. That was like the that was like the big the reason why it was so successful. That and all the games and the ball pit. So if they got rid of the ball pit and the beer, that's why Chuck E. Cheese probably went downhill. Huh. Oh, they do. They still, they still do? do certain locations. Yeah, I don't know. We definitely was the one in Virginia. That place was awesome. I love like you know whenever I throw birthday parties for my kids, I have to make sure there's alcohol. <laughs> it's just yeah. only fair. I mean, half the time you have kids, and like your buddies, and you don't get to hang out anymore. Mm-hmm. So it's like these are the only times you really get to hang out when you throw these kid events. Yeah, and like. Everyone will be in the corner just drinking beer because the kids are running. <laughs> and then you go, and then you go in the bounce house and you destroy just shit. Destroy just them. WWE all of them. Body slams after body. Ric slams. Flair, RKO, oh, slithering out of nowhere. Oh, WWE. Mm. Who's it? What is it? What's going on? Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon. Did you hear about his thing? Yeah, uh, some kind of sexual assault. Yeah, it. It's so bad. I mean, how old is he now? Like He's 80? seventy-eight. Yeah, okay. Vince is 78, but it's like... Wait, what was he? What was the accusation? It was just a, something with some girl that he had, like, you know, sexual activities with. So... And there was, like, they leaked out some text messages, which I was reading the text message, and, like, I'm like, is this really Vince texting? It doesn't really seem like him, like a guy of his age and nature, would be texting that way. Okay. Um. What? But who would? What? Who else would it be texting back? I don't know. Okay. Like I have no like idea. A, like an assistant. Um. Wait. So. So how is it a sexual accusation if they're like so a sexual? He, he took videos of her like videos or pictures or something, text messages. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But he went around to crew members and showed them stuff. <laughs> And then he would set up, this is all what I'm hearing mm-hmm. and reading, set up like gangbangs. With this one girl? With this one girl. 
And then there was one with him and another ex-wrestler who this ex-wrestler, John Laurinaitis, who now became like a, I don't know, an affiliate of like a higher up or something. Yeah. Um, but uh, he, um, apparently him and John Laurinaitis was with this girl. And in the middle of them having sex, Vince took a shit on this girl. What? Yeah. That's what I heard. Gigi Allen shit right there? Like, he didn't eat it. God <laughs> damn. But, yeah. What? That's disgusting. Yeah, he's under federal investigation. Of Under federal investigation surrounding sex trafficking alleg- allegations. So what's to say? Who is this girl? Was she like, did she work for the WWE? She did in some way. Is she a wrestler? No. I think the only reason why she came out was after doing all of this stuff, he was paying her. He bought her a car. Oh, yeah. He was giving her, like, money money. payment and all this stuff. And then he's now not a part of WWE anymore um, because WWE now is owned by TKO. TKO owns... Let's see. Do we own that? Well, um... WWE, uh, TKO owns UFC and WWE, and basically, um, he, he stopped making payments to this girl, and then now she's, oh, she's uh, like mad, so she's gonna, yeah, oh, yeah. lame. No, I mean that is my favorite move though in wrestling, taking a shit on someone's chest. It's kind of the ultimate finisher. I thought that was pretty good. You want to hear about shitting? Sure. <laughs> What? <laughs> Here we go. You pulling out the article? No. Why is it sending me to Facebook? Oh. I like this mug. They need me make more mugs. Why like this? Shouts out to Yeti. Here's the why. The Ooh. wise word from me. My oh, favorite girl. I don't need a Valentine. I need a million dollars in a fast metabolism. <laughs> Keep your metabolism to yourself. Share your bowel movements instead. So funny. Piss down my esophagus. Take me into sushi. Uh, uh, Lord have mercy on our damn soul. Discharge, discharge on my, my pancakes. pancakes. What a, what a banger, banger joke. joke. Use my skin as <laughs> what? a bag. And then a gif of someone spitting in this guy's mouth. Uh, I don't even listen to the audio. Just go straight to the comment comment section. Castrate me and shit on my fresh wound. (laughs) Distinguished gentleman. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, somebody just like that. Lame. I was reading that. Oh, haha, so funny. Shit on my chest. No lube, no protection. All night, all day, from the kitchen floor to the toilet seat, from the dining table to the bedroom, from the bathroom sink to the shower, from the front porch to the balcony, vertically, horizontally. Like, gas for air, screaming, see the light, missionary cowgirl, reverse cowgirl dog. What the fuck is this poem? (laughs) You call it a poem? (laughs) (laughs) What is this? Iambic pentameter? Um, Hair bowling, mind blowing, soul snatching. What? Nail biting, sweaty, kicking, pussy popping. You can put a bomb inside me. I'm so right. What is that? I think you know the internet wins again. <laughs> yeah, they always will. Um, they always will. But these, like, okay, if 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 we take this serious for a second, like, you can't go nowhere in life and say something like this only on the internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, what's funny too is like a lot of these people saying it, like, just don't give it. <laughs> it's so you should you should post one make me what is make me into sushi make me into sushi 77 8, replies 8,305 likes someone said yes no my new taker too into sushi Mr. Fish bruh what is real talking fish doing here that real talking Oh, real talking fish. That's the bikini bottom. Oh, in yeah, other news, so I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> See Christ, dude. I will poop on you with my butt. <laughs> but it's like this poor girl. <laughs> like she's just doing dad jokes, and I think she likes it. I think she, she knows. She stopped. 
the comments for her first couple videos because it got out of hand. And then she realized this she is realized why her videos are getting big. Is, yeah, this is what's getting her videos big. Like, Dude, you got okay. I would. I gotta see the the of course she's eating pizza. Even you, you gotta know that's gonna be some wild shit in the comments. This is the only love triangle I want. I can hear him typing. This is the only love triangle. I like that's funny shit in my eyes. <laughs> To make it for a long paragraph, guys. So I guess this guy keeps oh going. Oh my god, yeah. Jesus just goes. Ah, uh, bite it I, off, please. I, I've prepared my <laughs> chest. Claim me on your taxes. <laughs> and here we go. Uh, oh my god. Fill my belly button up with vinegar. Cool, rub it all over me. <laughs> this is insane. Um, speaking of Heath Ledger's Dark Knight, I, wa I, I saw a truck today that just like laminated all like Heath Ledger's Joker. And of course, the coolest guy was driving this fucking truck. Just <laughs> thought he was the coolest dude in the world. Who's oh that? man, just some truck that's parked at the BP, uh, filling up gas. I was like, you got to be fucking kidding me! Oh, it was awesome, dude. I was kind of hoping he was going to be in like a full Joker outfit. <laughs> Here's another person. No, no. <laughs> this is CC on silent. Is this um, your is this your sister, Devin? <laughs> Basically, CC Caitlin Campbell is from some of the videos that I saw. Um, she really loves coffee, and she tried to be a barista in Starbucks. And oh, is this one where she has a suit? So she went and created her own coffee place, which came out pretty successful in a way. But yeah, the purple suit. She's like. Welcome to the day in the life of a 29 year old small business owner who makes coffee for a living. Takes her in today by writing out some notes and clearing my head because we have a big so she day just, which reminds she just me. goes on with that stuff. <laughs> I think your day is a big day for you. I genuinely think you should focus on your health. <laughs> Good job, <laughs> Heavy Potter. How bad is this dude's <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Hate for me. Um, oh my god. I think you're the person I hate most in the world. <laughs> it's like, like, are these dunks <laughs> made of reinforced steel? Hate for, my, for two. my two cats. Like, grow up and get a real job. Yeah, my dog hates you. And he will not get to really let himself go. Neck reveal? <laughs> it's like... It's Jesus. Crazy. Oh, Grimace. Grimace. You know Grimace used to be bad? Lesbian Grimace. It's... Grimace used to be the, the evil character. Who lives <laughs> <Lord Arkham. laughs> Arkham Penguin? <laughs> How do you get a job here, there, bro? Keep your chins up, love the content. <laughs> this is insane. I, I wonder if I they, love her. they should interview these people to see how they're doing. Do you remember uh, Chris Chan? The like YouTube, like, sensation. He was no. this dude who was, like, like, the early days of YouTube where he... Well, I think now transitioning, but, like into female but basically like got really pissed off that sonic the hedgehog they changed his arms from like tan to blue mm -hmm. so he went to gamestop and like went to all the fucking different boxes and with a marker would like and just color, color it in and of course he gets like kicked out almost immediately arrested and whatnot and uh and did he really think that was gonna do anything i mean yeah. it, but he's like and then oh yeah and he made, he made up a character called uh sonic chew so it was a combination of Sonic and Pikachu. And he kept like making drawings of the Sonic. Who is this guy? Chris Chan, he's amazing. Or now she. And then one of the best parts about it is that there's he does like this video of like, like, this is where I live. And there's like, you know, in his like dad's house or whatever, and it's just filled with garbage. Like everywhere. And when's so the last you looked up Chris Chan. When was the last time I looked up Chris Chan? Yeah. Probably like a month ago. I haven't seen a video. I don't. I haven't seen any. Did you hear videos. about his? Uh, he faces an incest charge. No way. No way. For what? Which comes after years of online trolling that documented the creator's relationship with her mother. No. What? A recording of internet creator Christine. Christine Chan Chandler. Now. Sonic Chew. Christine Chandler. Admitting to having sex with her mother went viral in 2021. Oh my god. She was arrested in August 2021 and charged with incest. Was the mom also arrested? 
right? 79 year old mother. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Yeah, he also he also got his like dad arrested for like for like child support services came because he made a video of like where he lived and it was just like an absolute squalor. That's insane. Yeah. Did you did you see I did how... not see that, but that is amazing information. Whoa! Christine Chan. What a like, nutball. Is that like Oh dear God! Has evolved as a popular online figure from 2007 to 2021. So no longer a popular no online longer. figure. No yeah. longer. I never heard of this person. <laughs> Insane. But yeah, we like just record basic videos, just like videos of him like GameStop, like arguing with people, like the mall cop. He had like a crush on like one of the one of the girls who like worked at the Dippin' Dots or something would like sexually like harass her and wait for her to leave like the mall parking lot. It was it was nuts. And he, he like I love you. I love you, Sarah. She said, like, please, please and get away from me. And then transitioned into, into a woman. Into a woman. And then still, like, women. Yeah, I guess. So, but then, then in 2007, he was also, like, uh, against gay rights. Like, like, highly religious. Thought it was wrong. Like, a sin. So he, wait, he did what? He was uh, He's against, like, gay rights. So, and then now he's, like, transitioning into a female. So I, I know he's like he's all over the place, and then now we're hearing having sex with his fucking mom. Yeah, that that is terrifying. Which then transitioned into a woman, and now is basically a lesbian. A les- yeah, transitioning to a lesbian. <laughs> well, well, that's exactly what Mr. Garrison did. But it's from still South Park. a straight guy. I don't know. Yeah, it's just I don't know. But that does that make you sick? <clears throat> anyway, that's sick. Chris Chan. I think just the most deviant human being. <laughs> well, here we go. Ready for the uh, the quote? Are we already here? Yeah. Oh shit. We're here. Okay. Um, oh yeah. Ready for this quote? Yeah. Okay. You gotta give me a good guess on this one. In three words, I can sum up everything I've learned about life. It goes on. Uh. Uh, uh, Dave Schwimmer from Friends. I don't know. Robert Frost. Robert Frost. Yeah. The poet. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Cool. That's great. Oh, jeez. Well, I think this is one of our quickest podcasts. Quick, simple, easy. Yeah, I got shit. And then, yeah, that's it. We are. Done. I'm going to shit on the chest of a WWE wrestler real quick. <laughs>